Terry Neville's hopes of maiden victory in Africa at the World Rally Championship Safari Rally Kenya collapsed on Sunday morning after he retired from the competition. The Belgian started the 11.33 kilometers Lodia speed test stage with a lead of almost a minute in his Hyundai i20 over Japan's Takamoto Katsuta. But the longtime leader's hopes were shattered along with his car's rear right suspension after he hit a rock midway through the test. Neville and co-driver Martin Waide limped to the finish almost 45 seconds slower than the Japanese driver. And although their lead remained intact, the damage was just too great to continue and Neville was forced to retire. Now this left Katsuta in a Toyota in the lead seeking his first career WRC win. With three stages remaining, though, he was just 0.8 seconds ahead of teammate and reigning world champion Sebastian Ogier of France with Ott Tanak of Estonia over a minute behind in third place. Next stage, I, it will be quite uh, demanding, so I really need to carefully for the, don't get damaged in the car. Yeah, this is the most important thing. And uh, then after that, I need to see how, how the time is going. and. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, about tire-wise, I have uh, much weaker than him. Weaker than him, so I need to accept this situation. And uh, but still, that is anything can happen. So I'm just trying to keep as close as possible to him, and then to see what's gonna happen. The plan was to push to try to catch uh, Taka uh, for second place, uh, but now it turned out that it's a fight for victory as uh, as Neville is out. So uh, yeah, for sure, it's a good. Uh, Good start in this last day for us, but uh, the condition in the power stage are very extreme. So uh, the road is already destroyed after after the first pass. So uh, I don't know what to expect for power stage. It's going to be difficult to the end.